Did you know, ma'am, that we kill two children every minute of every day in our nation? Hey, I don't know why, but why are you guys here? Why are you here? Oh, because we have we have abortions going right here in White House, Tennessee. Well, I think you want me to do it. Uh, sir, if she wants to talk, she can talk. She's. You really shouldn't push her around, sir. You got an officer of the law pushing a, a lady around. You see that? Do you see him push her around? Sir, you don't. You really don't need to push her around, though. Like, if she wants to talk, she's free to talk. Are murdered in our country. Yeah. Hey, sir, you really don't need to put your hands on people and you really don't need to like push them along. See, the officer of the law doesn't want you to talk to me. Is that crazy or what? I mean, he's literally like taking people and he's like pushing them along as they try to talk to us. Does that strike you as odd in any way at all? Hey, officer. I was just curious, officer, what's your name? I'm just curious what the officer's name is, that's all. Yeah. My name's Chief Brady. Chief Bra Brady, Brady from uh, White, White House. House. White doing? House, good. good. Have you gotten some information from us? All, all I'm saying, Chief Brady, is if people are talking to us, you shouldn't put your hands on them and escort them away. That's actually not right to do. That's wrong to do. Okay? That's all I'm telling you. Hey, Chris, how you doing? I'm good, Mike. How are you? I'm doing good. You know, the only problem I have, though, is that I still haven't seen the, the city of White House really do anything about this evil in their own backyard. I haven't seen the city of White House fight against this evil. We got four pharmaceutical providers in our own backyard. That's what we got going on right here in White House. And true heroes, true heroes rescue those who cannot rescue themselves. True heroes help those who cannot help themselves. That's what true heroes do. This child was unable to help himself or herself. Yep. Keep handing them out. Here comes three more people. Grab three tracks and hand them out. Quickly. Thank you. You know, we have four pharmaceutical providers right here in White House alone that dispense uh, abortifacient birth controls and drugs that kill innocent children in the womb. You don't need that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you, they, you guys can read that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing, there, there's no victim images in that one. Okay. So there's nothing graphic in that one, okay? That one's just information and it has. I hope we are lo looking good, sir. They say we are. So all we're asking the people of White House to do is to raise their voice of remonstrance against this. Hey, be Christians. Me, yeah. Chief, Chief Brady doesn't want people talking to us. Yeah. Yeah. Two children every minute of every day, sir. Why? Yes. Yeah, but what do real heroes do? Real heroes rescue those who cannot rescue themselves. Here comes Chief Brady. He's going to put his hand on your back like he has everybody else. He's going to escort you away. No, no, he doesn't want people to talk to me. I operate this thing. I just, I think What's your name, sir? Herman. Her What's that? Gerald Herman. So you, you hold an office? Oh, yeah. What office? I'm a city manager. City manager. Did you know that you have four pharmaceutical abortion providers here in White House alone? Did you know that? Were you aware of that? It goes on right in your own town, sir. It does. You should shut them down. You should shut down those places. That's what you should do, sir. Now. There's people here that need to do something about it. That's why I'm here. Come here, follow me. That's why I'm here. I'm here. The, 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 listen. Well, then, well then, then that shouldn't be a problem. The reason why I'm here is because the people tolerate it. Okay, the people tolerate it. That's why it exists. Is because the people tolerate it. Okay? That's why, that's why it goes on. It goes on because the people of White House, the people of Sumner County, the people of Tennessee don't do anything about it. That's why it goes on. At Real heroes stand up and help those who can't help themselves. See, real heroes, listen, real heroes 
help those who can't help themselves. And real heroes stand up for those who can't stand up for themselves. Real heroes help those who can't do anything for themselves. These children need heroes. These children don't need men who hide what's happening to them, but these children need men who tell everybody, look what's happening to them, and no one does anything about it. That's what these children need. These children need men who are willing to say, you can't murder your children. It's wrong to murder your children. They don't, this is a child, in that ha this child was in a mother's womb. This is a child that was in a mother's womb, and what happened was she didn't want her child. So she went to a person, they call him a doctor, and what he did was he took the arms and legs off and he pulled the child out of the mother's womb. This is what we do in our nation. If you get your mom and your dad, I'd love to give them some information. Okay? Well, and, and you know what? This is the most important thing. If your parents love you, they won't do that to you. Okay? Hey, do one of you mind doing me a favor? Why not? You kidding me? Yeah. No, I'm not kidding you. Why wouldn't you help me? You think this is wrong? I think you're a fucking idiot. That's why I think. Can I ask you why? All right. Oh, oh, sorry. He, she wants to park. No, I'm just curious why. Yeah, see, the chief, Chief Brady doesn't want people to talk to me. Every time I talk to somebody, he comes over and he actually infringes on, he infringes on our speech. <laughs> Look it. No. I love the car, sir. I love the car. It says, dare to resist drugs and violence. Now, here's my question. What do we do to resist this violence? How do we resist this violence? It says, dare to resist drugs and violence. What do we do to resist this violence against this child? What do we do about that? How do we resist it? Hey, Chris, I got a question for you. Will you sign the petition and help abolish abortion in the state of Tennessee, Chris? Will you put your name on a piece of paper and say, I will not tolerate child sacrifice in my state? Would you do that? Or will you not? Just because you don't like me. Or just because you don't like the way that I do it or something, Chris. Chief, will you put your name on a piece of paper and will you say, I don't want child sacrifice in my land? Would you do that, Chief? Or will you not do it just because you don't like me? Just because you don't like how I advocate for the children? Is that what it boils down to, Chief?